Hello and welcome to the comment section. I am back in the mobile studio, headed to work. I thought I was going to have some smooth sailing, had some clear road. Now the, the traffic has just um, revealed itself. So looks like I'm going to have plenty of time to do a video. I might even get two in. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about in this uh, episode is something that I'm a little bit late on but I'll be honest with you a lot of stuff I like to be a little bit behind on and that's just so I can have uh, some good reflection on what it is I want to talk about you know sometimes you get people who want to hurry up and um, and get it out for those hits I guess and then when it's a little bit older it's hard to get a hit on it because it's old news but I think for in, in our you know perspective as far as the people who are making videos I think it's important for us to uh, provide perspective on the videos and not necessarily that we're reporting it I mean somebody's already going to report it so you're not going to be for some of us uh, who report a lot of entertainment you're not going to beat TMZ so your perspective on the story is what's going to make uh, your video original and uh, so let me get into it. Basically, I want to talk to you about um, Stacy Dash being fired. And for these coons out here to understand that that's just the beginning. Okay, she's just the first one. A lot of them are going to go. You're going to see a lot of coons in the next two years getting chopped off. Okay. Some of them probably have some contracts, so it's, it's not easy to just... Well, it is easy to just let them go. They'll, but usually if you have a contract, they'll find some use for you until uh, there's nothing left for you to do. But uh, this 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 should tell you something, but I, I think it's, it's a little too late for a lot of these coons because a lot of them should have jumped off the train maybe a year and a half ago. But most of them rode that train all the way to the end and that's this is you know this is going to be the result for someone like Stacy Dash because you kind of totally sold yourself out to racism white supremacy for a paycheck okay but the problem is they don't accept you they don't love you so just like a condom when you've outlived your use, you're tossed. Okay? Nobody goes and takes a condom and, and rinses it out in the sink for reuse. Once you've served your purpose, you're getting tossed. And that's what happened to Stacy Dash, and that's what's going to happen to a lot more of these, these coons who have sold their soul for a paycheck. And, you know, it, it, it serves them right. I feel bad for them. I feel bad not because of what happened to them, but I feel bad that they felt that that was their only options um, was to just totally sell your soul to the to uh, racism, white supremacy for some money. I really felt that they would have had more. I wish they would have had more faith, particularly in the most high, more faith in their people that they would be taken care of. And they didn't. So they just jumped to the other side. People like Jesse Lee Peterson. I mean, your rhetoric is is gonna is gonna die down big time because a lot of uh, racist. I don't want to just say uh, white racist. A lot of racist. Period. Lived vicariously through people like uh, Jesse Lee Peterson or even um, your girl her name just escapes me Stacy Dash a lot of them live vicariously through her so a lot of the extreme statements they make you know you got a cheering section over there because those are the things that these people wanted to say all those years but couldn't say them okay they couldn't come out and, and just be as racist as they want to be now hey that, that's like the newest thing be as racist as you want to be it's a uh, I guess that's making America great again. You can be racist as you can be outwardly racist as possible. Now, I have no problem with people being outwardly racist. As a matter of fact, I prefer it. But it's a uh, it's like a uh, 
it's like a new day for some of these races. And the thing is, they don't need you anymore. Black folks or black coons, I'm sorry. Coons, they don't need you anymore. I don't have to live vicariously through you. I can make my own channel. And that's really where I want to hit because um, my focus is mainly on the YouTube community. The black YouTube community, of course. And um, the channels where you got brothers and channels where you got sisters dogging each other out. Okay, just talking about how we are just the worst thing since, you know, we're worse than the devil, worse than Hitler. We are just the scum of the earth, and that's it. That's all they talk about. And they, I don't think they realized that black people are not necessarily your biggest fans. Some of your biggest fans, most of your biggest fans were white supremacists. You were saying some of the things that they wanted to say. And they just couldn't say it because the, the, the climate, the atmosphere wasn't right for them to say it. Okay? So they lived through you. You served a purpose. You did. But guess what? President Trump is here now and they can stand boldly. They don't need you anymore. Okay? I, I look at, um, and I, you know, I, you know, I'm calling a name. I look at someone like Tommy Sotomayor who, I mean... To me, the guy has, he has some talent, but he just went total coon white supremacist. And my thing is he had, he has uh, major issues with the black woman. And I, I understand because the black woman, the black man in this country is fucked all the way up. I understand that. We all understand that. That's not new news. I could go watch the six o'clock, nine o'clock news and see black people fucked up. I can see that. I don't need you just to report how uh, disgusting the behavior of our people is. Okay? What is needed is solutions. We got to push solutions. And a lot of these channels, and I don't want to just say it's Tommy, because a lot of guys jumped on that bandwagon. Because I guess they saw that there was money in that. And they could uh, they could become popular real quick. And I don't really think that they realized what they were doing. They just totally sold themselves as a mercenary. You were just a mercenary. That's it. But guess what? When the war is over, they don't keep the mercenary around. For number number one, well, number one reason they don't keep them around is you're not a part of our group. Okay? Number two, you know too much. And number three, you work for money you're not passionate about what you believe okay that's not your real belief you saw uh, a plot in the, uh, you, you saw a plot in a scheme to make some money and you did it you went overboard and they loved it and they ate it up but guess what they have no more use for you so people just mark my words in the next two years you're gonna see a lot of these channels fizzle out they're gonna fizzle out the, the 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 racists they don't need you anymore okay they can make their own channels they can be as bold as they want okay and for you brothers this is this is really the fucked up part for you brothers to understand that okay y'all made a lot of money or y'all had a lot of popularity got a lot of views from those videos about black women but you got to understand your audience your audience you know the the, the audience that, that hates black women they hate somebody more it's black men OK, don't ever think that the black woman is hated more than the black man. The black man is the most hated man on this planet. And a lot of you brothers sold yourself, sold yourself out for a quick buck or some popularity. And now the chicken's going to come home to roost on you and watch. You're going to see a lot of these brothers going to try to switch it up. They're going to try to switch it up. They're going to start talking more about racism, white supremacy when they were, you know, mainly talking about how bad the black woman was. And for you sisters out there who who do that, I don't I can't understand that for the life of me. Are you doing that just because you hurt because brothers did it to you? I mean, I, I, I try not to. Well, and, and I can and we should we should be critical of both. We should be critical of both, but I just expected more from the sisters because the sisters have always, even as toe up as they were, have always tried to hold down brothers. And when I saw 
when I see those videos like that, I just like, ah, I can't even get with that. Can't get with that. But you brothers, you know better. You know you know better. You should have been coming with some solutions. But now you're going to see. Mark this video. And, and God willing, if I'm alive in two years, I'm going to repost this video. And everything I'm saying is going to be true. That's all I got for this episode. Do not forget to subscribe. But most of all, do not forget to comment.